This lesson will cover the following topics. Automatic transmission functions. Operating basics. Automatic transmission has advantages over a manual gearbox in terms of safety and ease of use. Automatic gear changes at the most appropriate speed without a break in torque transmission, making driving easier. The vehicle pulls away smoothly in all traffic conditions. Automatic transmission requires fewer movements, making driving more restful and allowing the driver to be more vigilant. In addition, safety systems prevent the gear lever being operated incorrectly when starting and while driving. Automatic transmission designs are becoming lighter and more compact and no longer require maintenance. With automatic transmission, the driver has the following control systems. A key or card that is used to switch on the system's electrical components. A lever for selecting the gear ratio and driving mode. An accelerator pedal, the position of which enables the computer to determine the driver's driving style and control gear changes. A brake pedal, which sends the stop signal to the computer to manage various functions such as unlocking the gear lever and a display of warning lights on the instrument panel or on the center console to inform the driver which gear is engaged and which mode is selected. The lever is used to select various functions via a cable. The park function locks the gearbox mechanically. The reverse function engages reverse gear. In the neutral position, no torque is transmitted at normal idle speed. The engine does not drive the gearbox. Drive is the position for the gearbox to operate in automatic mode. The sequential shift controls are used in manual mode operation. They are used to select a higher or lower gear ratio provided the engine can accept it. It may be possible to obtain rapid engine braking by engaging a lower gear. Some automatic transmission functions make driving easier in certain driving conditions. The traction control function reduces wheel spin. The D3 automatic mode on some vehicles prevents gears higher than third being selected. In addition, automatic transmission has a special feature. When the engine is turning slowly, it can drive the vehicle forward when the brake pedal is released. This phenomenon is known as creeping. It allows certain maneuvers to be carried out with the engine idling. The gear lever moves an electric switch, which tells the computer the position of the lever. This is the multifunction switch. Depending on the position of the lever, the computer may accept or reject the driver's request. For example, the computer cannot authorize starting unless it receives the park or neutral position signal. Similarly, on some models it may be impossible to remove the key if the lever is not in park position. In manual mode, the computer may ignore the driver's use of the upshift-downshift controls to prevent the engine speed being too low or too high. Automatic mechanical safety devices require the driver to carry out certain actions to unlock the lever. The shift lock function automatically locks the lever in the park position. This safety system requires the ignition to be switched on and the brake pedal to be depressed before the lever can be moved. In addition, a mechanical safety catch on the lever prevents incorrect selection of any position. The button on the gear lever unlocks this safety device. Displays on the instrument panel and the center console inform the driver about system statuses. Warning lights on the instrument panel and the center console indicate which gear is engaged and which driving mode is selected. The pedal symbol illuminates when the driver needs to press the brake pedal, for example to unlock the lever. The lever symbol illuminates when the driver needs to put the lever in the park or neutral position, for example to start the engine. Various symbols inform the driver if there is a fault in the system. In this section, we covered the following points. Automatic transmission has certain advantages over a manual gearbox in terms of safety and ease of use. 
With automatic transmission, the driver has various control systems. The lever is used to select various functions via a cable. Some automatic transmission functions make driving easier in certain driving conditions. The gear lever moves the multifunction switch, which tells the computer the position of the lever. Automatic and mechanical safety devices require the driver to carry out certain actions to unlock the lever. Displays on the instrument panel and the center console inform the driver about system statuses. Automatic transmission includes four main systems. Hydraulic torque converter, which connects the engine to the gearbox. Gear mechanism, which provides various ratios. Hydraulic circuit, which controls the servos and lubricates the system. And the final drive, which has the same function here as with a manual gearbox. Like the clutch on a manual gearbox, the torque converter provides a hydraulic coupling between the engine and the automatic transmission. This coupling is based on the principle of centrifugal force. To understand the principle of centrifugal force, take a container half full of oil. When rotating at a certain speed, the container imparts movement to the liquid it contains. Above a certain speed, the liquid is thrown out of the container. If veins are added to the container, the phenomenon is amplified. The automatic transmission mechanism is made up of epicyclic gear trains. These are sets of gear wheels that provide different ratios according to the speed of rotation and how they are driven. This type of transmission has various advantages. Several ratios can be obtained from a single epicyclic gear train. There is no discontinuity when changing from one gear ratio to another. It can also transmit high engine torque. Now, let us look at how the epicyclic gear train works. To transmit movement from the input shaft to the output shaft, three components are required. A drive component turned directly by the turbine shaft. A reaction component prevented from rotating to obtain different movement combinations and an output component connected to the output motion shaft. In an automatic transmission, each component of an epicyclic gear train can be a driving component or a reaction component or an output component. Clutch and brake units called hydraulic servos are used to control the various epicyclic gear train components. The hydraulic servos are of the oil bath multiplate type. Band brake technology is used for certain types of gearbox. It has the advantage of accepting higher torque and having less drag. A flow of oil under pressure, called line pressure, is used to operate the servos and lubricate the gear mechanism. The hydraulic distributor controls the line pressure to the servos by means of valves and solenoid valves. Applying oil pressure to a brake prevents a gear wheel from rotating by connecting it to the gearbox casing. It then becomes a reaction component. Applying oil pressure to a clutch causes a gear wheel to rotate by connecting it to the turbine shaft. It then becomes a driving component. One or more servos may be activated depending on the ratio required. In this section we covered the following points. An automatic transmission consists of a torque converter, gear mechanism, hydraulic circuit and final drive. The torque converter provides a hydraulic coupling between the engine and the gearbox. The automatic transmission mechanism is made up of epicyclic gear trains. To transmit rotation from the input shaft to the output shaft, there must be a driving component and a reaction component and an output component. Hydraulic servos are used to control the various epicyclic gear train components. A flow of oil under pressure is used to operate the servos and lubricate the gear mechanism.